Welcome. Welcome. Back to another episode of the Chemotherapy Podcast. Uh huh. We got some things to talk about. Hope everyone enjoyed their weekend. Hope everyone was safe out there. I'm writing prescriptions. Shout out to Grandma Ye. When it comes to this I get to it when I do it It is what it is And it's gonna be What it's gonna be Yeah (laughs) We teeing in on them Oh we in the double digits now baby It ain't gonna stop We gonna keep it going Shout out to mama Love you mama Woo I'm feeling good I'm feeling good Sunday vibes But on Monday we collide Yes Yes How everybody doing out there? Hope everybody enjoyed the weekend, man. Hope everybody was safe out there. I'm feeling good, man. Good. (laughs) Good. Magic juice in hand as usual. Got a different cup this weekend, too. Yes, but welcome back to another episode of the Chemotherapy Podcast. This is episode 10, man, 10. I'm still going with it, man. I'm feeling good about this thing, man. Yes. Magic juice, baby. Magic juice. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I did it. <laughs> I had a good weekend too. I had a I had a pleasant weekend. Spent time with my baby, my Toka Booger. Hey Toka Booger. Daddy love you. It's my Jordan Price. Went down to C Town, man, down to the Columbus, Georgia. Went to see my grandbaby, Jade, Jade Price. Yes. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me stop for a minute. I don't need, I be forgetting what my buttons is too, but uh, let's give it up for the uh, 10th episode of the uh, Chemotherapy Podcast. I picked the right one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
You're far too kind. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, give it up for the 10th episode of the Chemotherapy Podcast, baby But yes, I went to Columbus, Georgia I seen my granddaughter, Jade Price Such a beautiful baby Uh, seen my son, Kata King Y'all already know, I be bumping my son's You know what I mean, music on the podcast You know, Kata King Shout out to my son, Kata King I also seen Regina Santiago and Jose Santiago. Shout out to Regina and Jose. Because uh, they always show me a lot of love throughout my life. From a teenager all the way, all the way up to the point where I am now. Always, you know. We had our ups and downs because I was a little uh, hot-headed kid. You know, trying to grow into adulthood, but they always showed love to me, and their doors was always open for me as well. So, uh, shout out to Regina Santiago and Jose Santiago. I love y'all, you know what I mean? You got to let people know, because if you don't say it, they will never know. But I appreciate y'all showing me love throughout my entire life. And uh, always having your doors open for me throughout my entire life. Yes. Round of applause for them. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Love them. Uh, see my pops this weekend also. Shout out to my pops. Seeing my mother this weekend. As I always say, love me. I love my moms. But uh, I seen, I linked up with my guys. I linked back up with my guys this weekend. Uh, I seen Alex, AR, as I call him. I seen Redman, RB, as I call him. RB, not RB's. The restaurant, but R.B. <laughs> I call him Red Boy. I seen my cousin Zaddy. Zad Spice, a.k.a. Mute Killer. Hey, that go way back to the teenage days. So, uh, yeah. The Mute Killer. I seen uh, Dirt Dog, which is James Redmond, you know. And uh, like I said, I already said my son. Who else was it? That was it. Yeah, we got up and uh, we met. We met up and, and and went and had dinner together. You know, chopped it up. I hadn't seen these guys in a long time. You know, it it felt so good to link back up with the guys and uh, spend some time and talk and you know make plans and. It just felt good to to link back up with my guys, man. Uh, brought back a lot of memories, you know. They're my loved ones, man. They they said that's family to me, you know. And uh, sometimes, uh, you know, as as humans, and we go through things. We have our ups and downs. With one another. Just in life general anyway. You have ups and downs. You, know, you have points in life where you're. You're super good with one another. And then you have your points in life. Where you're not so good. With one another. Not realizing. At times. You know so a lot of us are prideful. Even myself at times. You know, well, it's certain things we won't do because we feel like we feel the other individual should do something first. Oh, he didn't do this, so I ain't doing that. 
Oh, he ain't called me. So I ain't going to call him. Or he don't come see me. So I ain't going to go see him. You know, which is a bunch of petty stuff when it all comes down to it. But the love I got from my guys, man, I always had love for my guys. No matter what we're going through, I, the love still remains for my guys. Let me make that clear. I always got love for my guys. You feel me? That's family. But we had moments where we don't reach out and uh, we don't speak for long periods of time, but the, the love is still there. It, if it, it was a good it was a good thing that we reconnected, you know, and, and, and I'm looking forward to spending more time with my guys as well. But you got to give people, you got to let people know how you feel about them. Or but basically give people their roses while they're still here, you know. You don't want to wait till somebody pass away for you to, Speak on how you feel about this person or how you felt about this person or what they meant to you. You got to let them know these, these things while they're here. And a lot of things you go through with people, it be minor stuff. You know, it don't never be nothing major. It be something minor, you know. And, and it's as little as a, a conversation is all it takes to, to get everything back on track. And that's what I realized, too, you know. Because like I said, I, I be in my own mind sometimes. I be in my own head, you know. I'm pretty sure other people do too. I'm just speaking abroad, you know. But at the same time, speaking on my situation with my guys and things of that nature. Guys, family members, all that, whoever, you know. Sometimes all it takes is a, a, is a, is a conversation, you know. And, and you let all these years go by without speaking without spending time with one another all over something that's petty, something that wasn't even major. I ain't done nothing to your children. I ain't stole no money from you. I ain't disrespect your parents. You know, I ain't try to bring bodily harm to you. Why we ain't speaking, <laughs> you know, in it, it's mind-boggling at times, but as you grow, like I said, you grow, you get wiser, and you learn to you learn to let certain things go, man, and just because you can't move forward looking backwards, you know. It ain't gonna happen for you, but we linked up, man, and we had a good time. I. I I felt it was a good time, you know. I enjoyed the time that we spent with one another. And like I said, I'm looking forward to spending more time with my guys, man, because these are guys that I grew up with. You know, it's, it's the crew right here, you know. We was looked at different coming up, you know what I mean? We was on some different-ish. We was on some different-ish. <laughs> we was them guys. And yeah, we had dinner. I had my baby with me too. You know, my baby kick it with me strong. Strong. Not strong. Strong. <laughs> my five year old, she kick it with me strong. <laughs> One thing I realized too is it reminded me of how my uh how my daughter Kiana which is 16 now. She'd be 17 this month. How she loved my son, Malik. Like, crazy love, right? My daughter, Jordan, is the same way when it comes to her brother, Man Man, Shaheen Price. So we got done with the dinner and, uh, Mama didn't want me to drive back up the road. <laughs> <laughs> nigga get nigga had one drink, nigga can't go nowhere. <laughs> mama gonna take my baby from me, but anyway, your mama didn't want me to drive back up the road, so we decided to stay down in Columbus. Uh, 
But in my in my daughter's head, she thinking that my son is over to my mother's house. And I kept telling her, like, no, he not over there. He don't live there. She didn't understand. She's like, what? Well, she like, oh, okay, well, I want to go see Man Man, you know. I need to go see Man Man. Long story short, she didn't give up on that. At this point, it's like after 10 o'clock at night. So I had to take my daughter over to see my son at almost 11 o'clock at night, 10.30 at night. My son come outside. I let my daughter out the car. They play for like an hour, hour and a half outside in the dark. They just playing. Like she just having the time of her life with her brother. And I'm in the car. I'm sitting in the car, and I'm like, this girl love her brother. Like really, really, really love her brother. Like I said, remind me of 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 uh, Kiana and and uh, Malik. Kiana had the same love, still do. Got the same love for her brother Malik, and it was a, it was a good thing to see, you know. But yeah, yeah, don't waste time. Or don't let too much time, don't let time pass without you uh, spending time with your loved ones and your family. I seen my, oh yeah, I seen my, uh, I seen my cousin Doug Alonzo. I seen him too. And I seen my Auntie Glenda. I love my Auntie Glenda. She's uh, such a sweet person. Soft spoken, nice. She always been the same way. Love my auntie Glenda. And oh yeah. Happy birthday, Hen. Happy birthday uh to my uncle Henry Jean. Happy birthday, Henry Jean, you know. I got something for you. Yeah. Family, man. This episode here about family, baby. You can already tell, right? Loved ones, family. Your loved ones, you consider your family, right? This is about family, man. But yeah, salute to uh, and happy birthday to my uncle Hen. I had a celebration for him today. You know, I wish I could have stayed, but I had to get on back up the road. Uh, but yeah, uh, back on what I was talking about. Uh, we tend to we tend to be so prideful and. Be letting too much time pass without uh communicating and uh spending the time with our loved ones, man. You gotta spend time with your loved ones, man. It is it's it's really important, man. Love love your family, love your loved ones, spend time with them. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Looking kinda spiffy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm not a pretty nigga, but my mom think I'm handsome. Hey. No, I'm just a jokey joke. <laughs> but yeah, man. You spend time with your family, man. Stop letting BS get in the way, man. You know. Give out them roses now. You know. Love your loved ones, man. Let people know you love them now. Don't wait. Because it's senseless when you think about it, you know. It it really is. Everything was good though. Can't complain. Everything is in order. Got future plans. You're going to have some fun. <laughs> We're going to have some good times, man. It's a late episode for me right here, man. Uh, I messed around and uh, fell asleep on the couch. 
drinking the magic juice. (laughs) 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 Fell asleep on the couch drinking the magic juice. (laughs) With the cup in hand. And spilled the entire drink on myself. It is now three thirty in the morning while I'm doing this episode. Never waited this long before. <laughs> but it is what it is, baby. I gotta get the episode out. This is the chemotherapy podcast, baby. We ten in. I bet y'all like, where he going with this? I don't even know. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just trying to get episode 10 out, baby. (laughs) I talked to my cousin Carla today, too. Shout out to Carla. Easy Rocks. My cousin Eric. Yeah. My cousin Jeff, man. Shout out to Jeff. Toya. Yo, I'm doing roll call on this thing. <laughs> Shout out to Nobi, you know what I mean? Hey. Do I really got an episode ready for y'all tonight or not? <laughs> Stay tuned. But let me let me stop playing, man. <laughs> yeah. I say, man, family is important. It's all about family, man. I just enjoy spending time with my guys and things of that nature. But I realize a lot of a lot of petty shit nigga be holding on to. You know what I mean? A nigga need to get past. Or people need to get past. I'm just speaking abroad, like I said, speaking on everybody. Stop holding grudges and being petty and love on love on your people, man. Uh, spend time with your people. Move past whatever. Whatever hurdles in the way or whatever obstacles in the way, you got to get past that and and keep it moving, you know. Keep it pushing forward, man. Yeah. Like that. Magic juice is good. I got a slight headache, though. I ain't even going to flex, though. I got a little headache, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, let me. Yeah, by the way, man, I appreciate everybody checking me out. I appreciate the love and support. If it's not a big deal, if it's not a big issue, can you please? Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Or hit the thumbs down button. Either or. But subscribe to the channel, man. I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get this thing really, really rolling. It's free. It don't cost you nothing to subscribe and hit the like button. It's free. It's free. <laughs> but if you've been going through some things with some loved ones, with some friends, with some associates, you got to repair those relationships, man. It's very important for you to repair the relationships, you know. No matter which end of the stick you on, man, you got to repair that, you know. Because uh, life is short, man. Ain't nobody promised tomorrow. You hear the day you go on the next, you know. That's just, that just is what it is. It ain't no need of uh, living your life. And missing out on things because of whatever because of whatever issues that's at hand. 
you got to repair your relationships. Don't be too proud or think you're too good to say, I'm sorry. I miss you. That way. (laughs) Facts, man. It just ain't worth it in my eyes. You know, you may feel different than how I feel. It's senseless, man. Even if you just want to repair it just to get the weight off your shoulders or just to be in a good space with whoever, you might not even still hang out with them or nothing, but still... There's no issue at hand. It's it's repaired. So you got to do that. Especially if it's someone you love, someone you miss spending time with, someone you miss hanging out with, you got to repair that, man. You got to learn to forgive one another. You want the Lord to forgive you. You want the Most High to forgive you. You got to learn to forgive people, you know. You can't want somebody to forgive you and you can't forgive nobody else. It don't work like that. So learn to forgive. You ain't got to forget. But forgive. It's very important. Important. I don't know if it's the time. (laughs) The magic juice, the headache, I'm lost. (laughs) I don't know, regardless, you gonna rock out with me. Rock out with me. (laughs) Yeah, salute to Jenny, too. What up, Jenny? Hi, Jenny. (laughs) <laughs> hey. <laughs> what up, what up, what up, what up <laughs> What up, Rashida, you know what I mean I'm shouting out everybody on this episode hey, Roll call <laughs> Shout out to my sister Daphne too, man Back at it again. Where did that come from? I don't know. Well, yeah, let me stop playing, man. <laughs> I'm tripping for real, for real. <laughs> Weather's good outside. I'm like, oh no, this nigga's talking about the weather. This nigga's really lost right now. <laughs> the weather's good outside. It felt real good. I got I gotta put my daughter on blast though. My 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 sixteen year old daughter, Kiana. Kiana. I might wanna I'm over there watching my son play with my daughter, my youngest daughter. Jordan. I buy she pull up. She just getting off work. I buy she pull up. Go talk to her little sister. And just dip on off in the crib. I'm like, geez. She's not even gonna come and speak to her father. Love my daughter to death though. You feel me? But that, I don't understand. That was hurtful. It bothered me. It angered me. But what could I do? Sometimes you just got to take stuff on the chin, man. 
Sometimes a nigga feel like it, I can't win for God, I can't win for losing, man. I'm talking about for real. It's be like a domino effect, man. One thing, the next thing, then this, then that, then that. It's like, dang, like everything going wrong right now for me. But, yo, I still keep a smile on my face. I still stay energetic. I still stay positive. You know, I don't get down and out. You know, I you know I have my little moments to myself. But for the most part, man, I'm Gucci, man. But that was really uh hurtful right there for my daughter to do that. You know what I mean? To not acknowledge her father. Yeah. I ain't understand that. I, I never will understand that. Mind boggling. These kids nowadays are way different. They way different, man. Everything starts at home though, man. I get so much I get I get so many compliments on my youngest daughter, like how nice she is, how how well she speaks and how well mannered she is and you know, because that's how she raised to be. It starts at home. We don't tolerate disrespect. You know, it's just certain things we ain't putting up with. We teach our kids how to be how to be respectful and things of that nature, you know. That's a good feeling when somebody complimenting your child. Oh, she's so good, she ain't bad, she nice, she speak well. She friendly. Da, 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 da. Yeah. That's a reflection of her parents. That's where that come from. But when you run into these kids that's disrespectful and got no respect, don't respect the elders, they think they know everything. You can't tell them, Jack. That's a reflection of the parents as well, but not both. It ain't a reflection of both parents. It's a reflection of the home you come up in. See, certain, some of these, hey, man, I, I, I don't sugarcoat now. I'm just going to go and say it. And I know somebody going to get butt hurt by it, but it is, I ain't talking about no no specific individual. But some people just shouldn't be parents, man. You know, they ain't got no parenting skills. They don't teach their kids nothing. They don't teach the kids how to be respectful. And they don't crack down on them when they disrespectful. They don't do they just let them run and do what they want to do. They do let them do whatever they want to do. Let them say whatever they want to say. Let them act however they want to act. It's all it ain't no problem. It, sometimes it's just a joke if they find it funny. But ain't nothing funny about that. Because when you disrespectful and nobody can't tolerate you, then people don't want to deal with you, man. They're going to follow you through life. No matter how sassy uh, you think you are or how much you think you know, don't nobody want to put up with that, man. I, me personally, I don't even want that type of ish around me. You feel me? If you disrespectful, you ain't got no respect for nobody. You just, you just wild. I don't want you around me. You feel me? I ain't got no time for that type of stuff. <laughs> Facts. I ain't gonna waste no. I ain't gonna waste too much time on that topic right there. We are gonna get back to the happy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to cut this episode kind of short, man. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I might do though. I want to touch on. I want to touch on some other things, but I feel like I should say these things for another episode. You feel me? So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Family, though. Family over everything. 
Family first. Love your family. Spend time with your family. Enjoy one another. Give the roses while the roses can still be smelled. Smell the, smell the. <laughs> I'm from the South. We make up shit. <laughs> mm, that that good magic you do. But yeah, man, I ain't, I ain't even gonna flex, man. I, ain't, I really, really, really. Don't got nothing to talk about tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it be like that sometimes, man. I ain't prepared for this show right here, man. I'm just winging it. I'm just winging it. I just want to give the people something. You know what I mean? I can't. I don't even think I can write no prescriptions tonight. 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 The magic juice. Is working. <laughs> I ain't gonna even hold you though. I just want to come over here, on here really and talk about family and the importance of family and the importance of repairing relationships. You know, that's basically it. Repair your relationships. Fix what's broken. I'm talking to woman, man, and child. Be happy, man. Don't deal with no negative energy. Only deal with positive energy. Energy, positive people. I don't want to hear no. I don't want to hear your negativity. I, I don't want to hear. It. Now you want to talk about life? I'm with that all day long. But I don't want to. I don't want to talk about nothing negative. You understand what I'm saying? All positive energy. What we can do? What's the solution? What we could do to fix this? Or what we could do to try to change that? Or what goals we got in mind? Or what we trying to go with this? Like I'm on that type of stuff right there. And I'm not trying to sit around and talk about nobody and down somebody else and act like I'm better than this, that, and third or this. I ain't on that. I ain't better than nobody else. I'm human. I'm doing what I can do in this world and trying to do a little more. <laughs> just a little more. <laughs> I'm just trying to do a little more. I ain't better than nobody else. I love my people, though. I love my family, though. You know what I mean? Wholeheartedly. Yes. And it's going to forever be that way. I'm down for who I'm down for. I'm going to ride for you. Shout out to Shaq, too, man. Let me stop playing. Shout out, Shaq. What up, Shaq? Gualaset Zilch. You feel me? Jabino. What up, Jabino? You feel me? I told you I'm shouting out everybody this episode, man. <laughs> just people just popping in my head. But Shaq, you know what I mean? He show a lot of support to be to be on some on a on a serious note. That guy really show a lot of support. You know what I mean? You're young. You're young. My, that's my young guy right there. Show a lot of support to the kid, man. Even though I got gray hair, I'm still the kid, man. <laughs> <laughs> Show a lot of support to the kid. I appreciate that. Facts. Yeah, hey, live life, man. Enjoy your days. This was a light episode right here. I ain't really go in depth. I just want I just really wanted to talk about family and celebrate that 10. I'm in the double digits now. This is number 10. I just want to celebrate that 10. 
But live life, enjoy life, love who you love, repair everything, man. Keep it pushing forward. Keep positive energy in your life. Keep all negativity away from you. And keep it pushing, man. I love who I love. I repair what I can repair. And just know at all times, I got your back. It's my homie Kuala Set Zilch. Do it all. You should know that by now. Hands tied up, I can't help no more Put my trust in someone, they fucked it up Now I can't love no one Baby mama, all I should do it all I know what I know She just be sad when certain people let you down I got real talent, you gon' vibe with me I get real love and I get mad when I don't get it back Now say you obligated, you burn a business, you can't build back I got your back, you should know that by now I'm gon' hold it down, you should know that by now you my only love, you should know that by now Ain't no going back, you should know that by now All I want is money, you should know that by now Ayy, gotta keep my head up Go through some situations to make you more tougher I be hitting on these beats, I know they feel that muscle I know I fucked up in the past, now she would never trust me I went and blame her cause I wouldn't trust her If the shoes was on the other side Suck all my feelings and keep my pride on my side Wasn't with me shooting in the gym, but your hands out wide We not buddy and Clyde, we like it and it Deliver us for Eva, I swear we got that connection I be deep in the water, trying to drown me and I be swimming I don't do good with losses, I'm committed to the winning Hands tied up, I can't help no more Put my trust in someone, they fucked it up Now I can't love no one Baby mama, all I should do it all I know what I know She just be sad when certain people let you down I got real talent, you gon' vibe with me I get real love and I get mad when I don't get it back Now say you obligated, you burn a business You can't build back I got your back, you should know that by now I'm gon' hold it down, you should know that by now You my only love, you should know that by now Ain't no going back, you should know that by now All I want is money, you should know that by now Hey, I know I'm done with trust Every time I post them, they be the main story I was brought up a different way, don't get mad when I flourish Ain't gon' shit on nobody, just gon' keep on working Say I hurt your feelings, I didn't do it on purpose I'm just outspoken, some things you can't hold it Especially when it's not accurate, gon' make you wanna fold them Like the covers and the clothes when mama done with Landry. One receive all my blessings, so I said with confidence Everything I'm going through, you know that I'ma conquer it Have a heart of a lot of my strong, got some bricks I'ma always not give in, but put out what I get in Hands tied up, I can't help no more Put my trust in someone, they fucked it up Now I can't love no one Baby mama, all I should do it all I know what I know She just be sad when certain people let you down I got real talent, you gon' vibe with me I get real love and I get mad when I don't get it back Now say you obligated, you burn the bridges, you can't build back I got your back, you should know that by now I'm gon' hold it down, you should know that by now You my only love, you should know that by now Ain't no going back, you should know that by now All I want is money, you should know that by now Yes! My homie Guala Set Zilch, man. Do it all. I got your back. You should know that by now. <laughs> I'ma hold it down. You should know that by now. That hook was all that hook was everything though. I promise you. He said it all in the hook too. That nigga said I get real love and I get mad when I don't get it back. Not saying you're obligated, you burn the bridges that you can't build back. I got your back. You should know that by now. (laughs) Shout out to my guy. That hook was everything, man. Mm, Magic Juice got me. I waited too late to do the episode. It is now 4 o'clock in the morning. And with that being said... 
Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. This was a light episode. But what more can I say? It's the Chemotherapy Podcast. I'm still writing prescriptions. We gonna keep it going. It is what it is. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Ain't no changing that. You heard me? <laughs> It's a hard beat right here. I made that, by the way. Yes. Salute to everyone. Longevity. Prosperity. Nigga said prosperity. Prosperity. <laughs> ah. I'm all over the place, baby. Just vibe with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Give me your feedback. Give me your support. I need that. Gonna keep it coming. It ain't gonna stop. Live your life, man. Do you. However you want to do you. It's one thing you shouldn't forget, though, in life. And it's a fact. When you look good, you feel good. One.